Hi and welcome back. Today we're taking a sneak peek at the new release from Trinity Stamps. We're gonna use a new stamp set called Monster Love and that is a 4x6 stamp set and also a sending hug die that is also going to be released on Friday so stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a blog hop and a big celebration so I think you will enjoy that. For this card today I wanted to do um, kind of a different type of card. It was a while since I did an interactive card and this is not an interactive card that means that something is moving but it's gonna look a little bit different. It's gonna fit inside of an A2 sized envelope when we are done but we're gonna partially die cut with the coordinating dies for these stamps uh, on top of a heavier cardstock. This is a Nina 100 pound cardstock but we're gonna leave the feet of these creditors or monsters uh, untouched so they will be connected to the lower part of this cardstock and I just use some adhesive to keep them in place and you can also see that I place my cutting uh, mat or cutting plates I should say uh, so that they uh, uh, didn't cut further down and you can see here I'm going in and taking my uh, trimmer and just cutting out the pieces that are between the characters or the monsters and I will take an, a sector knife this one is from C6 just to cut out that little center of the feet there then I'm gonna take the oh I'm gonna go in with an eraser and I will show you close up my daughter got her hands on this one and colored it in so pretty <laughs> it still works so it's fine now I'm gonna go in with the coordinating stamps for this and use some Gina K black ink and stamp my beautiful monsters and I'm doing that with just an acrylic block and I will show you here this is an example of what you can do you can just pop this up if you don't want to do what I'm gonna do and just leave it at that and that would be super cute I think and the stencil you saw in the background is also a sneak peek of a stencil that will be released on Friday so I went ahead and did a second panel with the other creditors and also I colored them in with my Copic markers and here is the die I was talking about in the beginning of this video, the Sending Hugs die. It also comes with, um, I would say, a banner and also uh, a sending. So, but I just used Monster Hugs because I thought that was super cute for this card. I went ahead and lined that up with my monsters just to make sure that they were perfectly spaced. I used the negative part of this die cut and just kept them every every one of those letters in place. And you can see I did the similar thing here uh, this time I glued directly onto the paper not to the letters and then I pressed them down inside of that guide. Uh, and I'm sorry my fingers are a little bit in the way here but I took a white gel pen and went in and created some small dots on top of my monsters just to give them some more personality and uh, shine I would say. <laughs> and you can see I'm just speeding this up and I also, some of the creditors or monsters, I don't know why I say creditors all the time because these are cute monsters. They have their hands cut out so you can put little items inside of them. And this die set also comes with the perfect hearts. So I cut out uh, three of these and I will stack uh, one of these on top of the other just to create a little bit of a silver border. You can see I use silver letters, so I just wanted to tie everything in and I will pop that into the hands of that larger uh, monster there in the middle and I think it says miss you, yes it does. So I thought that was cute with my sending hugs. And you will also see that I would adhere these down, oh sorry, some wiggly eyes, I just pop them on there just to make this card a little bit more fun. This was the first thing I was thinking about when I saw these cute uh, monsters that I wanted to put wiggly eyes on top of them. I think it looks super cute. I also took my black gel pen and went over the eyes and the noses of the other monsters just to make them pop a little bit more. And when I was done with this, you can see I'm going to adhere my panels down uh, on the top of an A2 sized card base. And, that, and then I will cut off uh, the lower part uh, so these will create cute 
I think they are slightly smaller than A2 size cards, but not much. Uh, you could have popped your creditors or monsters or whatever you do in this card idea with uh, a little further up, so they was they would be exactly uh, a uh, fitting inside of an A2 cardstock. So you can see I cut off the excess part. I just did that with my trimmer of camera, and this is how they turn out. And I'm super happy with these cards. I think they are adorable. And I can see myself doing this technique with a lot of other stamps and other products. So I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned into Friday when we are having a blog hop. Bye!